Yo, what's good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Iron Angel, and we're back with Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Finally get to use my favorite character, Vegeta. So, I don't know how long I'll be able to use him. Um, hopefully for a long time, but I'm about to enjoy this. Actually, before the main mission, I want to try something real quick. I don't even know if this is going to work. Like, does he pull out a tail like Goku and Gohan does? He should. I mean, he's a Saiyan. Oh, wow. Useless. He actually has a fishing rod. <laughs> so Goku and Gohan could pull out a tail out of nowhere. But Vegeta, who's also a Saiyan, pulls out a fishing rod. This looks weird, though. Like, imagine the guy who looks like this, but can still kick your butt any time. Like, he has a suit on that looks all serious, but then you see him pull out a fishing rod. You're like, oh, he's not that tough. And then he wipes you out in one strike, That's in one blink right. of an eye. This is pretty cool, though. <laughs> you must really have a death wish. Coming at me like this? <laughs> You've lost your edge, Vegeta. You don't stand a chance against me with a power level like that. <laughs> don't be disappointed. You're in for a treat. You see, I've managed to learn a little new trick during my time on Earth. <laughs> like what? How to run away? Like how to control my power level. <laughs> No way! 19, 20, 21, 22,000! <laughs> oh. oh. This must be some sort of error, but I set my scouter to Vegeta's coordinate, and it's showing a reading of more than 22,000. Did you say 22,000? That's an older model scouter, isn't it? Here, I'll get a more accurate reading with mine. Impossible! It can't be! Is my scouter broken? But it's a newer model! The reading's up to 24,000! <laughs> Are you saying his power level is even beyond ours now? <laughs> Die! We're supposed to be equal in power! You fool! I've grown stronger with each battle that I've fought. The most recent one on Earth pushed me to the brink of death. Don't think for a second that a pampered peon like you could ever be my equal. I'm looking forward to getting that Big Bang attack. I saw in the commercial, even though Big Bang attack is going to be, uh, it's not going to be for a while before I can use it. But still, I saw the animation of it in a trailer, and it looks cool. I'm like, oh, man. Oh, okay, I was about to say, I was trying to teleport behind him when he did that, but I can never, whenever they're red like that and they do that attack, I can never get behind them. I just have to block it. But yeah, I want to see what Final Flash looks like animation wise. But yeah, Big Bang Attack had a, like a whole like cinematic scene. I was like, okay, this is going to be cool once I get Vegeta the Super Saiyan. Wait, Vegeta. I've got a great idea. I'll help you fight Frieza. We can take him on together. I, I never really liked him anyway. What did you say? You're so pathetic. You piss me off for the last time. Please hit him. Yes, okay. I didn't know if I was too far. How dare how dare you hit me? Alright, hold up. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, I'm getting a little bit better when it comes to dodging instead of holding the block button all the time. There's something I realize I do a lot. I just hold the block button and take the damage. Oh, here we go, here we go. Let's go. <laughs> Dirty fireworks. 
Vegeta's power level from before. That 24,000 reading, it was real. Oh, I don't believe it. He just took out Kui. I'm hardly surprised at this. How soon you forget, Vegeta is a highly experienced fighter in every right. Not to mention foolish. <laughs> he doesn't seem to know his error in so brazenly defying me. Lord Frieza, the scouter shows there are about ten Namekians in that direction. Very good. Let's hope they have what I'm looking for. The fifth Dragon Ball. Let's pay them a visit. I... I hate to say it, but that's it. We're screwed. There's no way we can ever get back to Earth now. Uh, Bulma? Let's... let's at least get away from this place. We're sitting ducks out here. We should try to find a place to hide. Maybe in a Namekian house or a cave or something. We'll try to figure something out. I'm... I'm sure the Namekians can help us fix our ship, right? I wish I could be as optimistic as you two. So, how long do we have to stay in a creepy place like that? Huh? Grillin, do you sense that power over there? Uh, yeah, I do. But it's not like the others from before. This time it might be Namekian. Huh? Hide! There's some strange energy headed this way. What are you doing, Bulma? Hide! Those guys we beat up earlier weren't alone! Huh? It's them! favor and check the dragon radar, please? You said four of the Dragon Balls were in one spot, right? Well then, it's possible that those guys... Uh, yeah! That explains it! They have the four Dragon Balls! Yeah, that's what I thought. Go on, did you feel it? Y yeah! Their power was incredible! Whoa! That small guy, he, he might actually be stronger than Vegeta. Whoa, stronger than Vegeta? No way. Uh, cool, man. Wait, how are we supposed to get the Dragon Balls from those guys? Once Master Roshi learned of the situation on Namek from Bulma, he informed Goku right away. Goku, who was eager to help his friends, then asked Dr. Briefs to build him a spaceship. Dr. Briefs modified the ship Goku arrived in as a child and gave it enough power to reach planet Namek in just six days. After bringing himself back up to fighting condition with some sensu beans, Goku left for planet Namek. All right, I'm off. I'd better get training with this gravity machine right away. After all, I've only got about six days to get stronger than Vegeta. Hey, you guys! Those creeps from before are heading straight for the Dragon Ball! Uh, hey, that's... W wait a minute. Th that's right back where Krillin thought that the Namekians were approaching us. Okay, I'll head over there and check things out. I'm going to. Uh, wait a second! Huh? Are you just gonna leave me here by myself? Well, it'll be a lot safer for you here. Actually, you might be right. Fine. 
I'll just open up a capsule home here in the cave and wait for you guys. Go on. Make sure you lower your power as much as possible. Right. Freezer's Horrible Henchman. <laughs> So, you think there are really some Namekian villages here? Well, if they are, we need to hurry and find them before it's too late. <laughs> uh, wh wh what's going on down there? They look just like Kami and Piccolo. Ah, they must be Namekians! First introductions. I am Frieza. I'm looking for the Dragon Balls. And if I'm not mistaken, I do believe one of them can be found here. We... we don't have anything like that. <laughs> it takes a great deal of courage to lie to me with a power level like yours. Uh, the, that device... That must be how they're able to find what few villages are spread across the planet. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you know the other elders were all too willing to provide me the information I need. W willing? That's impossible. Well, they did require some convincing. Zabon, show how persuasive we can be. Sir. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you understand now. If you insist on being this difficult, those young ones over there will be the next to die. <clears throat> They're monsters! How terrible! W what do you intend to do with the Dragon Balls? Why, I'll make a wish, of course. Nothing too extravagant, mind you. Just immortality. <sighs> Even if these monsters manage to gather the Dragon Balls, they still might not be able to make their wish. I... I suppose we have no choice. But promise me one thing. Promise me you won't lay a hand on the children. Of course. Mind you, you could have saved yourself all this trouble by doing this sooner. Now, take this and be gone. Well, I have you. Perhaps you can tell me something. Say, the location of the two remaining Dragon Balls. If memory serves, you need seven of them to make a wish, isn't that right? Don't be ridiculous. We Demechians are not in the business of endangering our own kind. And just when I thought you were less foolish than the rest, I suppose I have no other recourse but to kill you and the children. Get out of here, Dende! No! R right! Ha! 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 No! Our scouters! Now you won't be able to hunt us down anymore! You're all dead! <laughs> it's not much fun killing small fries like you. But you gotta die sooner or later. That's enough! What? Who the hell are you? I'm gonna make you pay for what you did! Hey, go on. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Two versus one. Let's go, let's go. Your jets go on. His level's not even that high. We're gonna get this over with. Where are you going? He <laughs> he kept going straight like I was over there. Uh oh, oh, oh! I I couldn't even see. I was like, wait, I can't move. Come on, yeah, crowd him, crowd him. Come on, Krillin, hurry up.
Come on, come on, come on. Oh, right on time. He was about to come hit me. There has to be a counter to that move when they're red like that. It has to be more than just me holding a block button. I'm trying to experiment. I'm like, maybe if I dodge left or dodge right, but literally I can't. Alright, just as I thought. Pretty simple. Now's our chance. Hurry! Huh? Right! After them, Dodoria! Don't let them get away! Punch it, Gohan! If he catches us, we're goners! Right! No use! They're faster than us! He's gaining! Wait, that's right! Here, go on, take the kid! Okay! Don't look directly at me! Take this! Solar Flare! My eyes! I can't see! All right, it worked! Go on, hide! What? Oh, wait! You little twerps! Where the hell you go? <sighs> We're safe! All right, we need to head back to Bulma fast. Hey, can you fly? Oh, um, yes. Th thank you for saving me. So, um, what's your name? I'm Dende. Hmm? One of Frieza's goons is on the move. This energy. Is that Tadoria? This is perfect. I can more than handle him all by myself. <laughs> Vegeta! Hey there! It's been quite some time, Dodoria. I've waited for you to foolishly leave Frieza's side. Knocking you around should be easy enough without Frieza here. You think you're hot stuff, don't you? Do yourself a favor. Shut up and just hand over that scouter of yours. Do that and I'll let you live just this once. <laughs> Is that so? You went completely radio silent during your attack on the Namekian village, which can obviously mean only one thing. You've lost every single one of your scouters, haven't you? <laughs> How perfect! Now I can make my way over there unnoticed. You want this, don't you? I guess you're not as dumb as you look, Vegeta. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? Why did you break it? You idiot! Don't you realize you're not going to be able to find the Namekians without it? I recently spent some time on a planet called Earth. Believe it or not, they don't require scouters in order to sense power. There was another Saiyan there as well, and he also knew how to use that technique. Which means an elite like myself should easily master it. That's it then, isn't it? Those little runts I was after, they were Earthlings. What are you doing, teaming up with those punks? What Earthlings? What the hell are you talking about? There's no way Earthlings could be out here. Enough of this nonsense. Stop wasting time and come at me already! I see what's going on here. You've come to realize just how much stronger I've gotten, and now you're too afraid to fight me. You saw my power level on your scouter before, didn't you? That number wasn't accurate. My scouter was busted. What are you so afraid of? Go on! 
Don't try and attack me! Who do you think you are? You're not better than me! You know one thing that I really loved in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 was the mixture of moves you can have. Like for example, I could create a Saiyan, right? Hold on. Look, see, he still comes to the attack even though I dodge backwards. Wow. There has to be a counter to that red move, but um, anyway, as I was saying, I love how in Xenoverse 2, I can create a Saiyan, have Vegito's Big Bang Kamehameha move as one of the moves I can have, on top of Dodoria's Head Ram. Like, you can really mix up the moves in that game, and I love it. From even weak characters, I can have Double Sunday from Raditz. On top of, let's say, Kid Boo's, uh, I forgot what that move is called, but the move he uses when he destroys the planet is the big ball. But you can really mix it up, and I love that. That was one of the best parts of the game. Honestly, one of my regrets is not playing it as much as uh, I wanted to. I got myself busy with other games, but that game was really good. The one, well, the one thing that was kind of like slacking, in my opinion, some people disagree, some people agree, is the combat system. I was just not a fan of the combat. Like, I'm cool with arena fighters, don't get me wrong, but I'm talking about like combo moves. It wasn't much to work with. Granted, maybe I don't, I didn't know the extra moves, but I thought I did. I mean, I practiced as much as I saw. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, this is not good. Okay, oh, okay. I'm, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not paying attention. Uh oh, come on, break that! This is not good. There we go, okay, I'm sitting here talking, not even paying attention. How? How is the Doria doing this? Alright, hold on, let me focus on this fight here. One attack is breaking my block? It's not, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my, okay, all right, wow, the Dory just all of a sudden got hard. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's my fault, I was not paying attention. Uh-oh, oh no, oh no. I should have dodged it, that's, what am I doing? This is not good. If I lose even one time to the Dory, that's gonna be embarrassing. It's already embarrassing that I'm almost losing to Dodoria when I have Vegeta when we all know Vegeta beat him no problem. I mean, yeah, we're only one level difference, but still, story-wise, Vegeta should be winning this easily. Like, literally, Dodoria's giving me everything. Like, my goodness. There we oh, oh, I thought that was it. There we go. Vegeta, I'm sorry. <laughs> I embarrassed you right there. Wait, Vegeta! If you let me go, I'll let you in on a little secret. But it ain't so little. It's a big one. It's about the home of your people. It's about planet Vegeta. What? What is it? Spit it out. You've probably heard all this before. How planet Vegeta was destroyed by some huge meteor, right? But that's not the truth. What happened is a bunch of crazy strong Saiyans like yourself started cropping up all over the place. And the more powerful they got, the more they didn't see the point in following orders from anybody. Lord Frieza lost trust in you guys, and because of that, he felt he needed to lay down the law. And oh, did he! Lord Frieza ended up not just destroying planet Vegeta, but every single Saiyan himself! But you know, Vegeta, you should be grateful. Lord Frieza saw a lot of potential in you, too much to waste, so he made sure to destroy the planet when you weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that was a lot to take in, huh? You're wrong about that, Dodoria. I couldn't care less about my planet, my comrades, or even my parents. But what infuriates me to no end is how I let myself be used all this time by bastards like you! Thinking about it makes me sick to my stomach! <laughs> Freezer! 
frees us terrified of the limitless potential of a Saiyan's power. If what I heard on the Scouter is to be believed, then all seven Dragon Balls are needed in order to make a wish come true. First I'll get my hands on the two remaining Dragon Balls. No, one should be more than sufficient. If I can hide even just one of them, Frieza and his lackeys won't be able to make their wish a reality! Ha! Then all I have to do is wait until their guard is down and steal the rest of them! We're finally back. Well, you guys certainly took your time, didn't you? <laughs> uh, took your time. <laughs> huh? Uh, who's the pocket-sized Piccolo? Oh, he's Namekian, isn't he? What's your name, little guy? Y yes, my name is Dende. Huh. It looks like you guys have been through a lot. Oh, yeah, that's right. I've got great news from my dad. Really? That's great! Goku's on his way here as we speak. He should arrive in about mm, six days. And I hear he's toughening himself up. M my, my dad's coming? Hooray! Yahoo! Six days remained until Goku would arrive on Planet Nemec. Goku! Can you hear me, Goku? Wait. Huh? Where are you? Oh, that's right! You're heading to Namek! Good luck finding the Dragon Balls! Wait a minute. You mean you don't know what's going on? There's some crazy stuff going down on Namek! Crazy stuff? Well, we can talk about that later. I've actually got some guests here with me. In fact, it's for people you know quite well. Well, wait, you don't mean... They've asked me to train them even harder than I trained you. Hey, Goku, you hear me? We met up with Kami in the other world, and he told us all about this place. You said, said there's, there's four, four of them there, there right? right? So that's Yamcha, Tien... Wait, is Piccolo there too? <laughs> I'm not about to let you be the only one that gets stronger in all of this. Chaozu's here with us too! Kami pulled some strings and let us have our bodies back so we can train here. Pretty cool of him, huh? That's awesome! Glad to hear it! <laughs> I'm doing a bit of training myself on the way to Namek. I had my spaceship customized to simulate a hundred times gravity for some extra intense training. But if I don't get stronger in the next five days, I'm gonna be in some pretty big trouble. You mentioned that before. What exactly is going to happen? What? what Whoa, hold on. You mean there's someone out there that's stronger than Vegeta? Wait, you're not talking about Frieza, are you? Beats me. I didn't hear anything about a Frieza. You know him, King Kai? L listen, Goku. If it's actually Frieza, then stay far away from him! Get on his bad side and you're begging for trouble! I'm telling you, not just for your own safety, but for the safety of Earth, Namek, and every other planet in the universe! Is, is, is he really that strong? I kinda wanna meet him now. Do not go anywhere near him! You hear me? I'm looking for some sort of elder. I'm here to retrieve the Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Battle for the Dragon Balls.
Krillin, did you feel that? Yeah. A bunch of energy just started disappearing. Really? M more Namekians are being killed! And the one doing the killing has a very familiar energy. Uh, it's Vegeta! Now it's not just Frieza we gotta worry about wishing for immortality, but Vegeta too! If we can find one of the Dragon Balls and hide it, neither of them will be able to make their wish. But, but they'll just continue killing Namekians until they find all the Dragon Balls! N no! Uh, who are you people? Where did you come from? And how do you know about the Dragon Balls? Please, if you can, save my people! Yeah, about that. Well, if you already know, I think... I think I understand what's going on now. Come on, follow me. I'll take you to see Grand Elder Guru. Huh? Uh... Grand Elder Guru? Why are we headed there? Those monsters that attacked our villages already have four Dragon Balls. Not only that, didn't you say that there are more people being killed over there? Uh, yeah. I think I know who did it. Vegeta. Th their energy. It's all gone. There's no one left. Th then... Then that means there aren't many Namekians left on this planet. Uh, oh, man. Even if we find the Dragon Ball in the village that Vegeta attacked, that still leaves one! Wait, does Grand Elder Guru have the last Dragon Ball? Y yes Not good! If Vegeta reaches him before us, he'll get his hands on the seventh Dragon Ball! We have to hurry and let Guru know! I'll go with Dende. Gohan and Bulma, you two wait here. There's no point in all of us going, okay? Right. Be careful, you guys! <laughs> so this must be a Dragon Ball. Fascinating. It must be kept safe. Time to hide it. No one could possibly find it as long as it remains at the bottom of this lake. If it's true that Frieza and his worms have five, that means just one is left out there. <laughs> this power. It's Zarbon. I'm sure of it. <laughs> it would appear that he's finally off that leash of his.